Hey everyone, Spicy Toes Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be testing out the Star Forge Gauntlets on Tom Kench and seeing how he feels with them. So the Star Forge Gauntlets, if I'm Titanic plus one starting mana, and then you can find level two champions when you invoke or manifest. Now this part, probably not really going to affect us. Maybe if we pick up some items throughout the run, that will let us invoke or manifest. But in general, we're just going for that plus one starting mana. Tom Kench is a four cost champion, so normally it takes us a little while to get him on the board, and he's really our main win condition. So starting off with three mana, and then being able to play him our next round will be very helpful. Also, Tom Kench has some very strong starting units, so just getting that plus one mana will really help us to put the pressure on early, and this will hopefully make Tom Kench feel like a much more powerful champion overall. Now we're going to be pairing that one with Jarum's Fist. We need this to get us to that Titanic level. Although I think let's actually switch out for the Luminous Orb. We could use either one. I was planning on using the Fist, but we can go for here just for a little bit of extra damage and that ability to block elusives. Now Tom Kench does have other elusives, so this isn't as necessary, but it might be pretty nice in some situations. Now we're also using that Troll King's Crown. Allies have Overwhelm. Berserker's Buckle would be nice to double down on that effect of taking damage, but with Tom Kench, normally what happens is your units have such high stat pools, but they just keep getting blocked out, and you end up having games that take forever. Troll King's Crown is pretty necessary for Tom Kench. Now, one thing we have to bear in mind whenever we're using the Star Forge Gauntlets on a champion that isn't inherently Titanic is that since we're having to use another rare relic to boost them to that Titanic value, this is essentially limiting our relic slot for other normally better relics. So potentially, even if the Star Forge Gauntlets are very good, the trade-off of having to give up essentially two relic slots for it may not actually be worthwhile. So that's going to be one of the things we're trying to determine with this video. All right, now if you appreciate all this Path of Champions content I put out, definitely like and subscribe, and let's get into it. All right, up against Aurelian Soul, let's see what we get for our first power here. Officer backup, not bad. Rush them down, decent. I think, especially since the uh, Sting Officer now has two health, it could potentially take some small hits and start scaling. Let's let's go for this. With the Titanic or with the Star Forge Gauntlets, we're trying to be much more aggressive early, so this will help with that. All right, Gangplank with power overwhelming. All right, let's get rid of the Hunter and the Brunch and even Tom Kench. We know we're going to draw him because he's our only champion. We're trying to get some of our very good one and two drops if possible. But even though we weren't able to grab those, we started three mana, so it's not too bad. Hmm. I don't really want them to have powder keg, so I guess, yeah, we'll go like this. We don't want their damaging spells to get strong enough to actually kill our units. Uh, being able to play Tom Kench turn two is really nice. Alright, let's try to get rid of this. All right, so we have four mana. That's actually perfect because then we can play our Citrus Courier. All right, so we can attack like this. Trying to make sure none of our units actually will die here. All right, so they all took some damage. Scaled up a little bit more. GG. Alright, Pool Shark looks like a solid early game unit. Hmm, Elise, Hecarim, Varus. I think Elise actually would be decent. Should be a 3 cost here but with a pretty solid stat line. Yeah, this, this could be decent. Alright, we want that champion item chest. 
Fiora or Caitlyn? I think let's actually go for Fiora. So Fiora with power overwhelming. All right, let's get rid of the Hunter and even the Pool Shark. Tom Kench is normal one and two drops, the Krusty Codger and then the Boctopus, I believe it's called. Very strong units. All right, a five, six. That's good, but I think getting both of these Krusty Codgers out will be better. Oh, that's actually perfect. He gave us just enough mana that we can use our acquired taste if they play anything. I'm sure there's something for my taste. All right, we can play Elise. I pull the strings. I'll write my own story. Capture that. Give ourselves some more stats. All right, GG. I guess we'll play the Ebb here. Don't these two are just too expensive? Hmm. So this could kill us later. Quick attack. That makes we. That means we normally don't get hit back when we attack, which actually isn't great for us. I think we'll just go for the augments. We get the higher scaling. All right, sparring student. That'll actually be very nice to have. So Zoe with unyielding determination. Uh, let's get rid of both of these. They're good, but since we have our crusty codger in opening hand, we're not going to be playing one of them. Yeah, I think I'd rather play this. Alright, banking that mana so we can play our acquired taste with Tom Kench. Ah, oh, perfect. You had your chance to walk away. <laughs> These <jewels laughs> uh, It is fun being able to play their own champion against them. Alright, they didn't get a stun or something, so we can play this a little bit slower. So this will, yeah, because of their health bar, we won't quite be able to kill them. Try to get through that spell shield. Uh, can he kill anything? He could kill Zoe. So we could just go ahead and protect her. Although that's just going to level him up and immediately spit her back out. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, all right. 
Let us peruse this establishment fair. All right, that should be GG. You won't suffer long. Another obstacle. So the broad-backed protector is actually pretty great because this is going to just survive for a very long time. Uh, but I think we'll go for the Fortune Croaker. Just, again, an early game unit. And the fact it's going to be dealing damage to our own units is really going to help us out. All right, let's get rid of these two. What's today's All right, we can go right here. Being able to scale that up is quite nice. Alright, there's most of their health gone. Oh, that's helpful. Alright, so we're going to play this ebb and hopefully it will hit the Nexus. Wonderful. So now we can play our Citrus Courier. Ah. GG. Nice, having more units early, very good. Especially since we could help that scale up. Uh, that actually will be pretty good. Sure. Alright, so Jin with Duplicate. One Tom Kench, that's fine. The rest of these can go. Wonderful. Oh, I was hoping they would attack. Perfect. I wanted them to block the sparring student so that he could get some uh, permanent stats. Oh, of course, there's two of them. Alright, so we will get rid of at least one of them. Yeah, that looks fine. I think let's go for a health potion here. Alright, GG.
All right, not too bad. Mm, quick Strike, deadly as always. Shadow Totem. Let's actually do a reroll here. Yeah, I think just getting a couple more stats, that's not too bad. Endurance, always amazing. Emperor's Guard, item chest. Kind of sick of dealing with unyielding. So let's go with Ezreal with unstable inventory. All right, let's get rid of both of these. Oh, we're gonna hold on to the Lounging Lizard. Being able to play this around one for that extra mana isn't terrible. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and do that. Just, uh, just pretend I'm not here, eh? Keep in pace. He's coming. Ah, not again. Time for a true display of skill. Oh, the fact that we have so many elusives and Tom Kench that can block elusives. Pretty great counter to Ezreal. Let's go ahead and just immediately consume him. They'll probably play another one, but that's fine. Yeah, I think let's actually go ahead and play this. Oh, so close. So not quite able to win, but as soon as we can attack, it's going to be over. I think we'll play this just to get it out of our hand. Alright, GG. Warf Rat, this actually is pretty decent. This is going to go up to 5 health, so... Not many things will be able to kill this, especially if we play it in the very first round. And then, even if it doesn't kill the enemy, it's getting a strike off, being hit back, and scaling up even more. That's actually decent. Tom Kench versus Tom Kench, so that'll be fun. Yep, Emperor's Guard, just a very solid unit. Alright, Tom Kench with power overwhelming. All right, we can get rid of the Bayou Brunch. Nice having our Citrus Courier and Krusty Codger in our opening hand. All right, I think we'll bank the mana for Tom Kench. So let's go ahead and go like this. Interesting, so they're not going after the sparring student. Alright, that's fine.
Oh, that's actually amazing. Being able to capture their units, but they're the same cards we have. That's oh, that's really good. Alright, we don't really want to actually play too much here. Because we want to be able to play our Citrus Courier. Alright, that's fine. Because we can just play this. And GG. Uh, I think we'll just get some more of the hunters. That's actually pretty good. Spells and skills deal two extra damage. That's actually going to be bad for us because a lot of our spells and skills are targeting our own units and we don't want them to get hit harder. We want them to get hit for as small as possible. So I don't think we're going to go ahead and grab that. All right, that's good. We'll have enough, right? Yes. All right, so champion M chest, Fey guide. This will be better, I think. So Nautilus with Duplicate. All right, let's get rid of Bayou Brunch. Emperor's Guard is pretty good. But yeah, not quite what we're looking for at the moment. Uh, that's sad. Let's go like this. We don't want to play the Fortune Croaker and have it actually die. I was hoping they'd kill or go for one of the vanguards, but yeah, it makes sense. Well, there goes our sparring student, probably. Oh, nice. Uh, let's actually get rid of this, I think. Yeah, they're definitely getting a lot for their deep. But they have no units, and so we were a pretty solid board. Where there's a will, there's a will. All right, I think let's just attack immediately. And we can immediately capture that. It's too late now. And play our Citrus Courier. And GG. Alright, improving our Tom Kench. Wonderful. Uh, top will actually help us more than any any of the rest of this. Uh, let's actually get rid of the Razor Scale Hunter. Well, we're never really going to play the Brood Awakening, actually. Alright, Lee Sin with Unyielding Determination. Alright, pretty decent opening hand. Oh, they're at two mana, so they're not going to be able to play Lee Sin round one. That's nice. Uh, I think let's go right here. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. 
sure. Alright. Putting on a lot of pressure early. There goes half their first health bar, at least. Master yourself. Master your enemies. Have you propagated your idea for time? I see this with your future. Alright, I think we'll just sacrifice this unit. We'll potentially just try to consume him. <laughs> That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I think let's play this. I can learn from watching you. Yeah, I think let's go ahead and do this. So one health bar down, our next attack, and we should be fine. We're just going to keep eating Lee Sin every time they play him. Alright, so at most they can push up to 7 damage. So yeah, that would actually be able to kill him. I think we'll actually just take the hit. This is a boss fight, so we're gonna heal up afterwards. Using this just to give us a little bit more stats since we don't have regen or anything like that. Let's just do that again to get even more health back. Alright, GG. One bad thing with all of our captures, our hand fills up so much. Uh, let's play a couple of these just to get rid of them. Just everything they play immediately gets consumed. <laughs> the order of our emperor, our god. All right, let's try this again. This match has gone on way too long. They can't stun us all.
All right, Farsight could be probably the best here, just to make sure we always have him at the start of the game. Sharing is caring. That'd probably be the best. All right, Misfortune with Perfected Mana Flow. All right, let's get rid of these two. And even the Elise, we know we're going to draw Tom Kench now. Uh, I think we could actually play this. Because we're just going to give everyone elusive. And there goes about half of their health bar. Yeah, let's play the Krusty Codger. Oh, I don't require a menu. All right, we don't have our one combo card. Let's go ahead and try to consume her. Don't think they should have a way to necessarily stop this. We captured that card since we could play it again for free. All right, we could play Misfortune. Don't really think that really matters, though. All right, GG. All right, I guess getting this on the lease would be decent. Let's see what we can get from this epic shop. We don't target many units with single target spells. Like, we have our one health potion, but that's about it. Our board's already too full. Sure, that's actually, that'll help us. We will have, like, a full board at the start of the game. It'll be pretty funny. I think we're fine, though. Our deck's already pretty crowded. So, Yasuo with Duplicate. All right, let's get rid of the Hunter and the Sandhopper. So they will be playing Yasuo round one. There it is. Alright, 8-8. Eight, eight. Hmm. I think I might just bank all the mana. Yeah. Life and death, I do alright. My kind of lesson. We can just block with these two. Just wanted to bank the mana for our Tom Kench. So we can go ahead and try to capture one of these. Alright, they don't have enough mana for another strike. So we can go like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I was kind of hoping they were going to block our Tom Kench, but oh well. So let's just to capture their Yasuo again. Granted, they're probably immediately going to play uh, two more. Oh well. I think let's play the Lounging Lizard to give everyone... Well, the 
Elusive. Oh, nice. They don't want to attack. Fine with that. All right, we need to play this a little bit slower. If we just attack, they can just stun us. Do we have anyone that has, like, a spell shield? Oh, game freaked out. Hmm. Let's play this first, see if we get one of our other combo cards. The funny thing is, their strikes actually help us. <laughs> uh, that's... They still have enough mana to stun one of our units. The order is given. Right, I think let's go like this. Being able to kill them still. They're going to stun someone. Oh well. All right, spell shield block that one. All right, GG. Uh, guess we'll go here for the ebb. So Katarina with power overwhelming. All right, we can get rid of both of these. I think we'll actually... Well, I was going to go for the Spell Shield with the Fortune Croaker, but I think everyone having Spell Shield here in Challenger will actually be pretty awesome. Alright, let's see if this can keep him alive. Yes, it can. Alright, we don't have our combo card, but they only have one unit that can block. I don't think they have any fast stuns. So yeah, GG. Another Colossal Hammer, sure. Alright, Aurelian Soul with level up. Alright, we can get rid of both of these. Alright, we got our Citrus Courier. Wonderful. I think we'll just go here, give everyone elusive. Alright, so we could play Tom Kench. We could attack and then immediately rally and attack again. Wouldn't do quite enough to end the game though. So I guess let's play this first. Encountered any appetizing stories, Lily? Not to be excited. Let's see. Keeping pace. Alright, they'll probably just block and kill the blood letter, but good amount of damage down. Alright, 
Well, that's a little annoying. So it will be rough, but yeah, we'll barely be able to survive that. Ah, don't do that. All right, let's see if this pops the spell shield. Ha, it does. Uh, that's, that's funny. Let's go here, here, we could block Kale, it would be, yeah, like, down to, would this bring us down to four, or down to one, yes, but then we, Scale up because of it, right? Oh boy, Nautilus 2626. Uh. Alright, let's just open attack before they can play anything, and then we can use our Citrus Courier. Granted, they'll be able to block our top Kench. Uh, that's annoying. So we could play our Lounging Lizard to give our Tom Kench elusive, but then we wouldn't get our Citrus Courier out. Uh, they're probably going to play the Aurelian Soul, so this should be fine. But they do have, yeah, slow spells that could really screw us over. Will this give us the damage? No. Alright, this is a created card, should boost up everyone's damage. Because most people should have augment. Alright, that should be <laughs> GG. Wonderful. Alright, so that was Tom Kench with the Star Forged Gauntlets. I think since we're putting on so much pressure early, you could potentially get rid of the Troll King's Crown. It was more important with kind of the old build with the Berserker's Buckle, just because your games were going longer and you really needed help to close out the game. But here, you're putting on so much pressure early that even though it is still a good relic, I don't think it's quite as required. So if you want to switch that out for like a Berserker's Buckle or maybe even something like a Corrupted Star Fragment wouldn't be bad, you could do that. Overall though, fun build. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.